You know, sometimes I wonder if the whole world has absolutely gone mad. This one is a bummer. I mean, I, I wish I never saw this and I wish I never had to make a video on this or report it because it is simply insane. I mean, when it gets to the point where focus on the family starts to compromise over things, you kind of wonder what in the world is going on. I've always said it. That God is separating the wheat from the chaff, but this one is absolutely crazy. How about the fact that the Epic Times is accurately reporting the fact that Focus on the Family has now put into play the mandates that the federal government has put into play regarding the shot. You know what I'm talking about. Now, what I think is absolutely insane is that these are supposed to be people who stand up for life. These are supposed to be people who stand up for liberty, for freedom. And they are doing something that, quite frankly, is absolutely cowardly. Now, in all fairness, I would like to show you their response. Their response, in my opinion, is absurd. And it's even more cowardly than the initial action that they actually capitulated to. I'm going to read this to you. I'll show it to you. I'm going to put it up so you can see it. It says this, focus on the family, just put it out. They say, in response to recent media reports that focus on the family is mandating vaccine for employees, focus on the family believes each person should have the right to determine if they should be vaccinated. We do not believe in a vaccine mandate and any reports that suggest otherwise are misleading. Actually, I think focus on the families being misleading because listen to the next paragraph that they write. However, when it comes to current vaccine or testing requirements, we strongly believe our donors financial support should be directly invested in ministry to families, not given to OSHA through exorbitant fines. Therefore, at this time, we are complying with the requirement with earnest hope that the Supreme Court will rule against in the coming days. <laughs> we will continue to follow developments and assess our response as necessary. Now, if you notice, I didn't take the picture and clip it right at the bottom of that because the first comment is an absolutely appropriate comment. And the comment is this, compliance with tyrants is complicity with evil. And that is indeed a fact. And when I look at this and I see exactly what these people are doing, I'm gonna just tell you this right now, it's shameful. It's completely shameful. Why in the world are we capitulating to this nonsense? Why are we capitulating to this garbage? Focus on the family needs to take a stand. And those of us that care about that organization and actually have benefited from the ministry of that organization need to get a hold of them and speak up about this hugely erroneous action that they've capitulated to. What in the world is going on? Folks, we need to pray. I'm telling you this right now. We are in the last days because when you begin to see people who say that they are believers who are walking with God begin to fall away from the ideals of freedom, which is in essence the whole outcome of what our salvation stands on, we've got a problem. It's time to pray and you guys should call Focus on the Family Send them an email and let them know what your thoughts and your heart are on the issue because this is absolutely crazy. Time to pray and to pray hard, folks. God bless you.